Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through the advanced blending mode of merge nodes to help give you procedural breakup to anything really, but we're going to be looking at masks. So just quickly to show you what we're going to be going through. This is before and this is after. We've still got the mask in the main bits, but around the edges we've got this breakup. So that's using the advanced blending modes of masks. So that might not mean a huge amount at the moment, but if you watch this video by the end of it, hopefully you're going to know how to use one of my favorite features of Mari. If you haven't used the node graph before, then you can check out my previous videos on this channel, which teach you everything you need to know about the node graph. I've also got a organic creature series where I go through how I textured and sculpted this cat from start to finish. Cool, so let's jump in. So I'm in the node graph here. We've got three nodes. On the left, we've got a light blue color, and then we've got a darker blue color, which is being multiplied, which is being merged, sorry, on top with this mask. And if I view this mask, you can have a look at this. So this is just telling it where the dark bits go, and that's going into my RGB channel. Cool, so really simple stuff. But if we take a look at this mask, it's quite simple really. I've got some dark bits where the mask is pure white and then this is black on the mask. But let's say, for example, on my reference here, having a look at this cat. So around the edge here, especially, we've got a darker skin color, we've got a lighter skin color, but I've got this really nice organic breakup around the gum. And that's really cool, but I don't wanna go in and hand paint that every single place on this cat, otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. So as I like to say with texturing, we're gonna work smarter, not harder. And we're gonna use the advanced blend modes of this merging to do that breakup all for us. Cool, so how do we do that? First, we're gonna need another merge node. So I'm gonna drop that down and I'm gonna pump my mask here, which I'm gonna view again. And I'm gonna put that into the base. And what we need is the texture that we wanna break it up with. So I've got some here. I'm just gonna drop down this dotty one because I used it before and I really liked it. And this is gonna go into the over slot. So if I view this mask now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to dark and multiply because I want this, the black bits to break up. And then let's just plug that into the mask instead. View the result of that with the RGB. I'm hitting one on the keyboard to view something as you do with the node graph. And yeah, it's not great. It's, it's kind of multiplied everywhere. But as I was saying, I kind of wanna keep it on my mask, which we'll view. I wanna keep it pure here. It's only around the edge that I really want it to break up. So where it's not white, basically. So what we can do is the merge node has this really handy feature. We're gonna go back and view this. If I go to the merge node, and then we've got this advanced tab, which I'd never really touched before, but I had a friend that I used to work with. He pointed it out to me and I've never gone back and I've showed a few people at work it and they, they really like it as well. So that's why I'm making this video. So we've got this blending basic, which is always kind of set to. If I change this to advanced, then we get all these different options. And basically what we're gonna tell it is we're gonna tell it where it's white in my mask, I want it to not multiply this texture over, and where it isn't white, I want to have a bit of multiplication just to break up that edge. So what we can do to access this ramp, we can just click here, and that's going to give us this curve editor to change this. So I'm going to change this curve, and you can see already things are changing. So at the moment that hasn't really done anything, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this base to a very similar kind of ramp. Close that one going to change this and as you can see now the magic is happening so let's set this up so now this I've got exactly what I want around the white of the mask which is giving me full dark color and then towards the edge I'm getting this breakup so I'm going to change my tile texture I'm going to make that half the size 0.5 and 0.5 and now you can see I've got this really nice edge breakup and this is a great way to get procedural kind of breakup across your masks, across your textures, without hand painting it. Because this would have been a nightmare to go in and paint. And then if anything changed, say the UVs or anything like that, or the original mask, I'd have to go in and repaint this. Whereas this now, if I just change my mask, I'm gonna just paint onto it. You can see it does it on the fly for me. So let's say, for example, I got some notes that this forehead, it needs to come off. Then I can just get rid of that. And the bit where it's faded, just nicely fades into this other texture. And I can change this texture as well that's being multiplied over by just sliding in some other ones. So that doesn't work great. I'd have to go back in and change the ramp or we can use this other spots one. And then you have it. That's one of my favorite little tips inside of Mari just to get a nice little bit of hand painted looking procedural breakup. Cool. So I hope that's helpful. If you've got any questions, please leave them below. And yeah, check out my other videos if you want to learn the node graph or anything more Mari. Take it easy. Best of luck texturing and have a good one. Cheers.